A native of Western New York, Bob Bennett began his professional career in the public sector, working for the city of Buffalo and Erie County. In each of these roles, he was tasked with helping individuals and organizations. It was this spirit of helping others that drove Bob Bennett to the United Way of Buffalo and Erie County in 1973. He was named president in 1985. And I was a volunteer, and I had to go and get cards signed and ask people for money and go to meetings and, and, and other businesses to try and generate the enthusiasm, interest, and hopefully donations. And it was Bob who really helped to try and explain what United Way is, what they do, and how important it is. And I would say to you that it probably, it's really started me on my, uh, my passion for those that are underserved. I met Bob for the first time in 1973 with my hand out saying, you know, Bob, I need some money to get this program going. And Bob found a, a foundation that was willing to give us several thousand dollars and we got Project Care started. Eventually we got it funded by the New York State uh, Department of Youth. Four years later we got a national award uh, as one of the outstanding uh, service projects in the, in the nation. So it wouldn't have gone any place without the original funding that we got from Bob. So uh, I owed Bob from the first time I met him, I owed him for being so helpful to us and taking care of us. But Bob was always present. He was always available, his door was open, but more importantly, he was walking around the building. He'd show up at your desk any time of the day or night and ask questions and offer to help. And many times if you shared a struggle, he'd come back the next day and have an answer or another connection for you. Although Bob has been gone from his official capacity at the United Way since 2000, he truly has never left and his legacy continues. You know, he'll always be a part of this organization and continues to do so. I mean, he's, he's very present in the organization, not as someone who wants to hang on um, as, as a past president, but he wants to continue to do well for this community, and he understand that this organ, understands this organization is a way to do that. I think Bob's legacy will be that he established an organization vision that to this day is still very focused on the well-being of people in our community who are less fortunate. If there is a theme to Bob Bennett's work at the United Way, it is one of assisting the poor and less fortunate, primarily through educational opportunities. Because of his advocacy for education programs, Bob was elected to the New York Board of Regents in 1995. He was elected to three subsequent five-year terms and was also elected chancellor for three consecutive terms beginning in 2002. We had the medical corridor. We have a lot of initiatives to bring back the city of Buffalo and the Western New York region. But we all know that public education and the school system are a foundation of the success of any city. And so a person like Bob Bennett, a policymaker who resides in from Buffalo, New York, and can sit and have conversation with policymakers that impact our region, I think we should really um, gravitate to him and listen to him because he has a voice to represent Western New York and the city of Buffalo and this region. There, there's a, a Chinese proverb that goes something like this, and I hope I get it right. You know, if you're planning for a year, sow rice. If you're planning for a decade, plant trees. If you're planning for a lifetime, educate a child. And that's, Bob, that's been Bob's attitude, is that every child deserves the opportunity to be educated, to allow them to create their own environment in which they can succeed. A devout Catholic, Bob Bennett's favorite Bible passage is from the Gospel of Mark in chapter 10, where Jesus tells his disciples that the kingdom of God belongs to the children. Living that faith, Bob has demonstrated this belief through his programs concentrated on school-aged children. You know, we could have a, a pretty big event and I, I would see him kind of walk off and kind of hang out with, with some of the kids and carry on conversations with, with some of the young children, whereas we may have had some significant donors on the other side of the room. It didn't matter. He's the grandfather of the whole concept of school collaborations with community-based agencies for the purpose of making sure that our children, uh, who more and more are coming into our schools with baggage, they, they come from poor families, they're underfed, they're well, poorly clothed. So Bob was the one, he was the, the founder, the prime motivator, as he is today, uh, around the, the need for school systems and districts to collaborate with uh, community-based organizations, mental health, social services, to assist these kids to 
deal with these social issues they come to school with and, and make them then more ready to learn. He, you know, he was an architect for early childhood services and so Success by Six is uh, something that uh, Bob helped uh, um, establish here at the United Way uh, and to this day we are strengthening our role in the community around how to help uh, families and uh, who are managing um, young children in this community who have um, uh, difficult and challenging needs. And, and so that's one of the legacies that I think will live on. At a time when many people begin to slow down, Bob Bennett continues his work to better the Western New York community. However, now he also has a great focus on another group of children, his grandchildren. He's fun, he's, he's unconditional. He we were just we were talking about this earlier, and the girls know, especially my oldest, if she's had a really bad day, she goes into her room and she shuts the door and she calls my dad because she knows that she will hear it's fine, you didn't do anything wrong, <laughs> everything will be okay. Um, when we say no candy, there's candy. <laughs> when we say no timbits, there's a timbit. Uh, there's five timbits. <laughs> that's that's the job of of, of Papa. Well, when he comes to my sporting events, I feel happy because he is, he's smiling. Yes. And um, it's just nice to have him there because he, he encourages you and he tells you to push harder, even sometimes when you don't want to. As a community leader, Bob Bennett worked tirelessly alongside his colleagues and made a lasting impression on his community. He's a man that uh, believed in family, believes in uh, the husband title, believes in community, believes in service, believes in volunteer. The objective, the goal to make the lives of others better. He's centered in his deep spiritual life as well as family. And out of that basis, everything else just comes naturally. He's never shied away from wanting to help, and it doesn't matter what it is. You know, something small or something large, he'll step up and try to make a difference. When you're sad or like when you're not feeling well, he'll always make you feel better or laugh. There isn't a time where I've seen him in any situation feel sorry for himself or feel sad about what he's done or dwell on the past in his, but he's always picking other people up and, feel, and making them feel better and making them laugh. For a career spent bettering the life of others through service, advocacy, and education, Niagara University is proud to present Robert Bennett with the 2014 Legacy of Service Award.